the eyes of the world were watching over New York City as the 10th anniversary ceremony of 9-11 got underway. Families began pouring in as early as 6 a.m., while hundreds of media outlets pointed their cameras down at the site, including our own at Univision. For some, like Richard Batista, a first responder with the fire department who lost many of his colleagues on that day, this 10th anniversary marks the end of an era. It's a very solemn day. Uh, we're here to pay homage and, and remember our fallen brothers. Uh, but it's also a, a day that, that we bring some closure to, you know, a long history of, uh, you know, a lot of pain and anger, sadness that has been felt by families and the members for a long time now. For some of those families that lost loved ones, moving on is still difficult. Like for Prudencio Lemagne, whose 27-year-old son David, a Port Authority police officer, who died when the North Tower collapsed. Dice que el tiempo lo cura todo, pero para mí no ha curado nada. Lo siento hoy, 10 años después, más o menos como lo sentí el primer día. For each of the 2,983 names of victims that were read, there are countless stories of loss, survival, near misses, and hope tied to this day. Like Hector Jojot, who was on the 83rd floor of the North Tower when the second plane hit. For me, escaping and skated from the Trade Center, it was a, a second opportunity to, to start really enjoying life. This is the, still the original ID from the World Trade Center. This thing has been with me for the last 10 years, and I kept it like a treasure. <laughs> As the ceremony stretched out from 8.30 a.m. until 1.20 p.m., crowds started thinning out as well as the crew's stamina. Get a little tired. At the wrap of the six-hour live transmission, veteran Univision anchor Jorge Ramos who has covered the attacks and its aftermath for the past decade, said this anniversary might not necessarily be the closing of a chapter. Uh, we, we want to think that after 10 years, there's going to be closure. Uh, and maybe for the television, and maybe publicly, and for politicians, uh, there's going to be closure. But after talking to the families of the victim, it is very clear for me that there's no closure for them. For Univision News, I'm Ingrid Rojas.